Have you ever wondered how your thoughts and feelings can shape your reality? What if you could turn your dreams into reality in just one day? This might sound too good to be true, but according to Louise Hay, a renowned self-help author and motivational speaker, it's entirely possible. Today, we're going to explore Hay's powerful philosophy. Talk about it. Feel about it. Get excited and manifest it in just one day. This approach has helped countless people change their lives, and it might just be the key to unlocking your own potential. Louise Hay was a remarkable woman who left an indelible mark on the world of personal development. Born in 1926, she overcame numerous challenges in her life, including abuse and poverty, to become one of the most influential figures in the self-help movement. Hay's work focused on the power of positive thinking and self-love, and she believed that our thoughts and words have a profound impact on our lives. At the core of Hay's philosophy is the idea that our words shape our thoughts, which in turn shape our reality. The language we use, both in our internal dialogue and in our conversations with others, plays a crucial role in determining our experiences and outcomes. When we consistently use positive, affirming language, we create a mental environment that's conducive to success and happiness. To put this into practice, start paying attention to your self-talk. Notice the words you use when you think about yourself, your abilities, and your future. Are they mostly positive or negative? If you find that you're often critical or doubtful, try to consciously shift your language. Instead of saying, I can't do this, try, I'm learning to do this. Rather than thinking, this is too hard, reframe it as, this is challenging, but I'm capable of figuring it out. This shift in language might feel awkward or insincere at first, but with practice, it becomes more natural. The goal isn't to ignore reality or pretend that everything is perfect. Instead, it's about approaching challenges with a more constructive mindset that empowers you to find solutions and grow. But Hay's approach goes beyond just positive thinking. She emphasizes the importance of feeling your desires deeply. It's not enough to simply talk about what you want. You need to connect with it emotionally. This emotional connection is what gives power to your words and thoughts, turning them from mere wishes into potent catalysts for change. To connect with your desires on an emotional level, take some time to really imagine what it would feel like to achieve your goals. What emotions come up when you picture yourself living the life you want? Is it joy, peace, excitement, or something else? Allow yourself to fully experience these feelings, as if your desires have already come true. This emotional engagement serves two important purposes. First, it helps clarify what you truly want. Sometimes we think we want something, but when we imagine having it, we realize it doesn't bring the feelings we expected. This process can help you refine your goals and ensure you're pursuing what genuinely matters to you. Second, feeling your desires intensely creates a powerful motivational force. When you can vividly imagine and feel the positive outcomes you're working towards, it becomes easier to take action and persist in the face of challenges. You're no longer just working towards an abstract goal you're moving towards a future that you can already feel. Excitement plays a crucial role in Hay's manifestation process. When you're excited about your goals and desires, you naturally align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with what you want to achieve. Excitement creates a positive energy that not only motivates you, but also attracts opportunities and resources that can help you reach your goals. 
To boost your excitement about your goals, try to connect them with your larger life purpose or values. How does achieving this goal contribute to the person you want to be or the impact you want to have in the world? Visualize not just the end result, but the positive changes that will occur along the way. What new skills will you develop? How will you grow as a person? Another way to increase excitement is to break your larger goals into smaller, manageable steps. Each of these steps represents a mini-achievement, giving you frequent opportunities to celebrate your progress. This ongoing sense of accomplishment can help maintain your enthusiasm over time, even when facing obstacles or setbacks. Now let's dive into the heart of Hay's approach, the 24-hour challenge. The idea is to focus intensely on manifesting your desire for just one day. This concentrated effort allows you to experience the power of alignment between your thoughts, feelings, and actions. And it can often lead to surprisingly quick results. To set yourself up for success with this challenge, it's important to choose a goal or desire that feels achievable within a day yet still significant enough to excite you. It could be anything from having a productive workday to receiving an unexpected opportunity or resolving a conflict with someone. Once you've chosen your focus for the day, commit to maintaining a positive mindset and high energy level throughout the entire 24 hours. This doesn't mean ignoring problems or pretending everything is perfect. Instead, it's about approaching each situation, even challenges, with a belief in positive outcomes and your ability to handle whatever arises. Your morning routine sets the tone for the entire day, so it's crucial to start with intention. Begin by affirming your goal for the day as soon as you wake up. State it out loud with conviction and excitement. For example, you might say, Today is a day of incredible productivity and achievement. I accomplish all my important tasks with ease and energy. Follow this affirmation with a few minutes of visualization. Close your eyes and vividly imagine yourself going through your day, accomplishing your goal with ease and joy. Feel the sense of satisfaction and pride as you picture yourself succeeding. Next. Take some time for self-care. This could involve meditation, gentle stretching, or simply enjoying a quiet moment with a cup of tea or coffee. The key is to do something that helps you feel centered, calm, and ready to take on the day. Before diving into your tasks, make a list of the key actions you need to take to move towards your goal. Prioritize these actions and commit to tackling the most important ones early in the day when your energy is likely to be highest. As you go about your morning activities, maintain an attitude of expectancy and positivity. Look for small signs that your manifestation is working. Perhaps you feel unusually energetic or you receive an encouraging message from a friend. Acknowledge these positive occurrences, no matter how small, as they help reinforce your belief in the manifestation process. As you move into the middle of your day, it's important to maintain your focus and positive energy. This is often when distractions and challenges can start to creep in, potentially derailing your manifestation efforts. To stay on track, Schedule a brief midday check-in with yourself. Find a quiet moment to pause and reflect on your progress so far. How are you feeling? Are you maintaining your positive mindset? Have you encountered any obstacles? If you find that your energy or focus has dipped, take a few minutes to realign with your goal. Repeat your morning affirmation. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect with the feeling of achieving your desire. You might also want to do a quick visualization exercise. 
imagining yourself successfully navigating the rest of your day. This is also a good time to practice gratitude. Think of three things that have gone well so far today, no matter how small. Expressing gratitude helps shift your focus to the positive aspects of your day, which can give you a boost of energy and motivation to carry you through the afternoon. If you've encountered any challenges or setbacks, don't let them discourage you. Instead, view them as opportunities to demonstrate your commitment to your goal. Ask yourself, how can I respond to this situation in a way that aligns with what I'm trying to manifest? This approach helps you maintain a solution-oriented mindset, even in the face of difficulties. Remember to take care of your physical needs as well. Make sure you're staying hydrated, eating nourishing foods, and taking short breaks to move your body or get some fresh air if possible. Physical well-being plays a crucial role in maintaining the mental and emotional state necessary for successful manifestation. As the day draws to a close, it's time for an evening reflection. This is your opportunity to review your progress, celebrate your successes, and reinforce your belief in the manifestation process. Start by acknowledging everything you've accomplished throughout the day, no matter how small. Did you maintain a positive attitude? Did you take steps towards your goal? Did you handle challenges with grace? Recognize and appreciate your efforts. Next, think about any unexpected positive occurrences that happened during the day. Perhaps you received a compliment from a colleague, found a solution to a problem more easily than expected, or experienced a moment of unexpected joy. These synchronicities, as Hay might call them, are signs that you're aligning with your desires. If there were aspects of the day that didn't go as planned, resist the urge to criticize yourself. Instead, approach these situations with curiosity and compassion. What can you learn from these experiences? How might they be guiding you towards an even better outcome? As you prepare for sleep, reaffirm your goal one last time. Express gratitude for the day you've had and the progress you've made. Then, let go of any attachment to the outcome. Trust that the universe, or whatever higher power you believe in, is working in your favor even if you can't see all the pieces yet. Gratitude plays a crucial role in the manifestation process. When you're truly thankful for what you already have, you create a positive energy that attracts more good things into your life. It's not just about feeling good. Gratitude actually changes your brain, making you more attuned to the positive aspects of your life. To incorporate more gratitude into your day, try starting a gratitude journal. Each night, write down three things you're grateful for. They don't have to be big things. It could be as simple as a delicious meal, a moment of laughter with a friend, or a beautiful sunset. The key is to really feel the gratitude as you write. You can also practice gratitude throughout the day by pausing to appreciate the good things as they happen. When something positive occurs, take a moment to mentally say, thank you, and really savor the experience. Remember, gratitude isn't about ignoring problems or pretending everything is perfect. It's about choosing to focus on the good in your life, even amidst challenges. This shift in focus can dramatically change your overall outlook and energy, making you more receptive to positive opportunities and experiences. As you go through this process of talking about, feeling, and getting excited about your desires, you may encounter doubts or negative thoughts. This is completely normal and doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. The key is how you handle these thoughts when they arise. First, recognize that doubts are just thoughts, not facts. 
Just because you think something might go wrong doesn't mean it will. When you notice a negative thought, acknowledge it without judgment. Then gently redirect your focus back to your goal. One effective technique for dealing with doubts is to question them. Ask yourself, is this thought really true? What evidence do I have for and against it? Often you'll find that your doubts are based more on fear than on reality. Another helpful approach is to reframe negative thoughts into more empowering ones. For example, if you catch yourself thinking, I'll never be able to do this, try changing it to, I'm learning and improving every day. This shift in perspective can help you maintain a positive mindset even when facing challenges. Remember, the goal isn't to never have negative thoughts. That's not realistic or even desirable. Instead, the aim is to develop a more balanced and constructive way of thinking that supports your goals rather than undermining them. Visualization is a powerful tool in the manifestation process. When you vividly imagine your desired outcome, you're essentially giving your subconscious mind a blueprint to work towards. This mental rehearsal can help align your thoughts, feelings and actions with your goals. To practice visualization, find a quiet place where you won't be disturbed. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to relax. Then, begin to imagine your desired outcome in as much detail as possible. Use all your senses. What do you see, hear, feel, smell and taste in this scenario? As you visualize, pay attention to the emotions you're experiencing. How does it feel to have achieved your goal? Allow yourself to fully experience these positive emotions. The more real and vivid you can make this mental image, the more powerful it becomes. It can be helpful to incorporate visualization into your daily routine. You might do a brief visualization exercise in the morning to set your intention for the day or in the evening to reinforce your goals before sleep. Some people find it helpful to create a vision board, a collage of images representing their goals, to support their visualization practice. Remember, visualization isn't about escaping reality or avoiding action. Instead, it's a tool to help you clarify your goals, boost your motivation, and align your energy with what you want to achieve. While positive thinking, feeling, and visualization are important, they're not enough on their own. Action is a crucial component of manifestation. Your actions demonstrate your commitment to your goals and create tangible progress towards them. The key is to take inspired action, steps that feel aligned with your goals and values. These actions don't always have to be big or dramatic. Often it's the small, consistent steps that lead to the most significant changes over time. Start by identifying one small action you can take today towards your goal. It could be making a phone call, doing some research, or practicing a relevant skill. The important thing is to do something, no matter how small it might seem. As you take action, pay attention to how you feel. Does this action energize you? Does it feel like you're moving in the right direction? These feelings can serve as guidance, helping you refine your approach and stay aligned with your true desires. Remember, action and inspiration often work in a feedback loop. Taking action can lead to new ideas and increased motivation, which in turn inspires more action. So don't wait for perfect conditions or complete certainty. Start where you are with what you have. While Hay's approach emphasizes the possibility of manifesting desires quickly, it's important to cultivate patience and trust in the process. Sometimes things unfold exactly as we hope. Other times, the path to our goals takes unexpected turns. Patience doesn't mean passivity. 
it means continuing to take positive action and maintain a constructive mindset, even when results aren't immediately visible. Trust involves believing that everything is working out for your highest good, even if you can't see how all the pieces fit together yet. To cultivate patience and trust, remind yourself that timing is an important part of manifestation. Sometimes delays occur because we're not yet ready for what we're asking for, or because something even better is in the works. Practice staying present and appreciating where you are right now, even as you work towards your goals. Find joy in the journey, not just the destination. This approach helps reduce stress and anxiety, allowing you to stay open to opportunities you might otherwise miss. Remember, every experience, even the challenging ones, contributes to your growth and brings you closer to your true desires. By maintaining patience and trust, you create a positive, receptive state that supports the manifestation process. As we wrap up this exploration of Louise Hay's manifestation technique, let's recap the key points. First, pay attention to your words and thoughts, consciously choosing language that supports your goals. Second, Connect emotionally with your desires, feeling them as if they've already come true. Third, cultivate excitement about your goals, as this positive energy attracts favorable circumstances. The 24-hour challenge provides a focused way to put these principles into practice. Start your day with intention, maintain your focus with midday check-ins, and end with reflection and gratitude. Throughout the process, use visualization to reinforce your goals, take inspired action to create tangible progress, and cultivate patience and trust in the timing of your manifestation. Remember, this is not about forcing outcomes or ignoring reality. It's about aligning your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your desires, creating a positive energy that supports your growth and attracts favorable circumstances. Now it's your turn to put this into practice. Choose a goal or desire that excites you and commit to focusing on it intensely for the next 24 hours. Talk about it positively, feel it deeply, and get genuinely excited about it. Take inspired action no matter how small and remain open to unexpected opportunities. As you go through this process, be kind to yourself. Manifestation is a skill that improves with practice. Even if you don't see immediate results, trust that you're creating positive changes in your mindset and energy that will serve you well in all areas of life. Remember, you have the power to shape your reality through your thoughts, feelings, and actions. By consistently applying these principles, you can create a life filled with joy, purpose, and fulfillment. So why not start right now? Your new reality is waiting for you to create it.